When 2008 came around, as with many people, um, my business went away. It was a tough period of time, but I was very fortunate in that I was found a job with Deepwater Wind when it was just starting up. And the um, opportunity presented itself to essentially reinvent myself at midlife. Um, a very rare opportunity if you, um, if you think about how many people were left out in the cold by the recession. Turbine technicians is the number one growing job sector in the United States right now. So we have essentially a brand new nascent offshore wind energy industry and it's employing people who get who have an opportunity like myself to reinvent themselves and find a role to invent our roles uh, in this new um, field. The United States is the number one producer of wind energy in the world but it's all terrestrial until this project went in. Block Island is paradise. There's something very special about this place. Tourism is a big part of our economy out here. It's a very expensive place to live. We call it the cost of everything here, paradise tax. Pretty much everything we need consumable-wise has to come by boat from the mainland. Before the wind farm, we were reliant on five diesel generators that were burning about a million gallons of diesel fuel a year. The diesels are very loud. Uh, you have to wear hearing protection. The day we shut down the diesel generators, and they slowly wound down, and just as they stopped, you could hear a bird chirping. It was just, uh, it was classic. You couldn't, couldn't stage it better than that. The introduction of those elegant sculptural symbols of a better future are exactly what Block Island is about and should be about. This is the smallest town in the smallest state, leading the way, not only for the nation, but the world. You know, it's uh, pretty cool stuff. <laughs>